gut specialist James Kinross at Imperial College London has been studying the evidence. Probiotics, whilst you take them, they will, will remain within the system. But when you stop taking them, they get flushed out. So uh, if you can get it to work, it will only work for the duration that you take it. Uh, and there's no guarantee that it will work in the same way between two different people because we have different, different species of bacteria. So is there any evidence for the claim that probiotics just generally make you healthier even if you're not ill? There's very little evidence that it's going to make you live longer or generically be healthier. Do you ever take them? I don't actually know, but I would take them if I had infective diarrhoea or if I had irritable bowel syndrome and I would I tell my patients to take them in specific circumstances. But I don't take them every day because I don't really uh, believe that it's going to make any difference to my long-term health. In fact, the European Food Safety Authority agrees that there's simply not enough evidence to allow commercial probiotics companies to make the health claims they used to, and these companies have now changed their advertising. Danone, who make Activia and Actimel, and Yakult say they stand by their health claims but comply with the law in the EU. They say their claims are backed by years of research and are approved in many other countries. But I've heard of a new line of research in this area. So what if I said there was an alternative to probiotics, that something as simple as eating a bag of oats could have a really beneficial effect on the health of your gut? Well, a bag like this costs less than a pound. It'll last me all week. I think it's worth putting to the test. This is a new and considerably cheaper approach. The concept is simple. Instead of trying to add more bacteria to our guts, just give the ones we already have a bit more food. And it seems like some of the bacteria that are really good for us thrive on oats. So that's what I'm going to feed them. 100 grams a day, every day, for four weeks. Runny oats, thick oats, oats with sugar, oats with salt. I just hope my gut bacteria are appreciating all of this. To find out, I've also been sending samples of my faeces to some lucky researchers at the Rowett Institute in Aberdeen. They've been carrying out DNA analysis on my poo samples to see what effect the oats have had on the bacteria in my gut. Dr Karen Scott has the final results. So this, this looks like a, a kind of DNA fingerprint from a, a crime, <laughs> crime TV show, doesn't well, it? Well, effectively what it is, it's a fingerprint of your poo sample. So every column is a different poo sample. So these are the weeks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So the, this is your first week when you were on your normal healthy diet and then the four weeks on the oat diet. Each row of white blobs corresponds to a particular kind of bacterium found in my gut. The brighter the blob, the more of that bacterium there are. And it's clear that some of them have been having a field day on the oat diet. What this might represent then is one of these bacteria that really likes oats. That's right. How exactly are they good for me? Well, we know that different gut bacteria produce different byproducts as they ferment the food that you ingest. And oats seem to be particularly good at stimulating the growth of bacteria that produce some of the very beneficial byproducts. Some of them are very good for the health of your gut lining. Some of them are more important in terms of heart health. 